So AI agents versus AI workflows, what are they and what's the difference? Well, in today's video, that's what we're going to talk about. So first of all, what's the motivation behind this video? Well, AI agents, as you can see the search term on Google, is just growing exponentially. And everyone is saying that 2025 is the year of AI agents. But what does that even mean? Well, my entry point into this whole world of agents was I had seen this video when it came out, this build AI agents by David Andre, in which he uses a system called NA10, which is like an automation system. And that automation system has a component for an AI agent. So this whole thing here, you can imagine it as a workflow, but this here is an agent. So then the other entry point I have is this here, OpenAI's operator. This is that operator here, which essentially operates a browser. I think the idea is that in the future it will operate an operating system or something maybe. Basically a way to have LLMs interact with, say, Chrome or something, right? And then the idea in the future could be maybe direct on your operating system. Something like that would be cool. So anyway, what are these agents? What does it even mean? So you have two types of kind of problem solving or systems. Deterministic, in which it moves from one thing to the next. So one input will give one output always. Non-deterministic will have one input, but then it has a variety of outputs. For example, here, there are four possible outputs, non-deterministic, because you don't know which route which route will the LLM take, for example. And so you can imagine this here, that this is the workflow, and this here is the agent. So I'll give you a real world example so that makes more sense. So, as I was saying, it's a workflow. It's deterministic. It goes one to the next, to the next, to the next. Kind of like a pipeline, like a data pipeline, or a DevOps pipeline, CICD, whatever it is. And an example prompt for, say, a workflow, or an example idea that would encapsulate a workflow would be write a piece of content, say LinkedIn content, based on the most recent tech news. So you could have an LLM go and search Google, so say like perplexity. You could then have them write your LinkedIn post. You could then have them schedule it to LinkedIn um, and then have it actually posted to LinkedIn, something like that. Or here you could say, try and figure out when is the best time to post on LinkedIn, say based on I don't know, Google, or a data set you have of times which you've posted before and then how that performance has gone. So as you can see here, it just is one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, right? Whereas agents, the prompt to an agent could be something more like create and post content based on the most recent tech news. So here, I'm not saying exactly what to make, so I'm not saying make LinkedIn. I'm just saying create and post something. So your LLM could go and search the web, find out what's, what's uh, trending. Then it could say, right, based on a number of factors, which platform would be the best to post on? Then it would go independently and figure out, right, so say it's for LinkedIn, that means that it's got to be text probably. So it will write something. It will then schedule it on LinkedIn and say it will optimize it, for example, based on previous posts it's made, or the same as before, by a searching or a database. And then it will actually post it, and from here it could say monitor it, right? <laughs> and I don't mean monitor like that, but keep an eye on it. And it could learn how does it work, uh, or how successful was the post based on criteria of, say, views or something. And so here it's like this, learning kind of reinforced loop. So as you can see, the main difference here is in this kind of if then, which is if something happens, then something. In a workflow, that if then is predetermined. It's deterministic. The if then using agents is not predetermined because it allows the agent or the LLM to decide which route to take. And now this could be some degree of predefined routes. You could have an LLM which is, say, hooked up to a bunch of workflows and you just let the LLM decide which workflow. But it could also be a bunch of other data. So that's LLM or AI agents versus workflows in a nutshell.
any comments, questions, queries, do let me know. I'm thinking of making a tutorial on, say, like NAN, but then also I think it'd be cool to code, code my own um, agent or workflow, but we'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Bye.